So we're asked to find the tangent line to y equals 1 over x at x equals 2. And there's two things we need to find the equation of a tangent line. First off, we need to know the point that it's going to go through. So we know the x value is 2. To get the y value, we can just plug that into our function. So plugging 2 in there gives us a y of 1 over 2, or 1 half. So there's the point we need to go through. The other thing we're going to need is the slope. To get the slope, we're going to need the derivative. So first thing we might want to do is rewrite y as a power function. So y equals x to the minus 1. So now we'll calculate our dy dx, which is negative x to the negative 2. If we want, we could write that as negative 1 over x squared. And now to get the slope, the m, we're going to take our derivative dy dx and evaluate it at x equals 2, because that's where we're finding our tangent line. So we have negative 1 over 2 squared, or negative 1 fourth. Now we have the point and we have the slope, so we can put this together in the form of our tangent line. The generic form that I like using is y equals f prime of a times x minus a plus f of a. Now, we didn't call our function f, but f of a is the y value, so that was the one-half. The negative one-fourth is our slope, and then two here is our a. So what that's going to look like is negative one-fourth times x minus two plus one-half. Now, depending on what form we want this in, this is something we could graph, and the form is fine, but if we wanted it in, say, y-intercept form, we would want to distribute the negative one-fourth, so we get a minus one-fourth x here. Negative one-fourth times a negative two gives us a positive one-half. Then we have the plus a half at the end, so if we wanted it in a y equals mx plus b form, we get one, negative one-fourth x plus one.